Hi guys, I'm giving anesthesia today. It's a general anesthetic. You can see I've got a, my monitors monitoring the patient. The patient is under anesthesia. What is easy about this is I'm giving this anesthesia in the operating theatre. So the patient is accessible to me. If I need to give oxygen, if I need to lift the airway or put a tube, I can do it easily. Guys, I'm telling you why anesthesia for an MRI is difficult. It's because you don't have access to the patient. See, in, in a normal theatre, when you give anesthesia, you've got the monitors, the patient is next to me, I can feel the pulse, I can look at the patient, check his heart rate, listen to his lungs. But when you do an MRI, all is not available because the patient's inside the MRI room. That's what makes anesthesia for an MRI very difficult. That, that's one of the challenges we face among other things. So I'll talk to you about more about it in the next few minutes. Giving anesthesia in an MRI room is very difficult because the patient is enclosed inside the MRI room. So there's a lot of risk involved in giving anesthesia in an MRI room. Okay? There's also problems with MRI being it's away from the main operating theater where you have help and other colleagues also, it's an, it's, it, it is a magnetic field, so a lot of equipment cannot be put into the MRI room. So this gives us a lot of challenges when you give a patient anesthesia in the MRI room. Furthermore, patient cannot move and has to be still completely when doing an MRI. And when the patient goes into the MRI suite, it, it can be very claustrophobic if they are awake. There's a, sometimes there's a barrier placed over the face, so that even makes it even more difficult for an MRI. And also, you need to be wary of what happens inside the MRI room. And sometimes the procedure can take a long time, one to two hours, sometimes even three hours, and the patient has to be still. So this gives a lot of challenge to us when you give anesthesia in the MRI room. How difficult is it to give uh, do an MRI? Under sedation? Do so again. Huh? Do so again. So patient must do alarm. I only can see the So as you can see, it's not a simple thing giving anesthesia for an MRI. It is involves a lot of risk because of all the things I mentioned earlier. The patient is in an enclosed space and you have limited access to the patient. The patient is inaccessible to you. The airway is can the patient's airway can be inside the machine. And for all these risks we take, the anesthetist does, does, doesn't get paid much. According to the Ministry of Health, they only can uh, bill a fee of 265 ringgit for this procedure, even if it takes 10 minutes or 1 hour or 2 hours or 3 hours. Because according to the Ministry of Health, uh, if there is an anesthesia, when there is no surgical procedure done, 
in this case an MRI, an anesthesia for an MRI, the fee, on, the only fee available for us to charge is 265 ringgit, which is very minuscule compared to the risk we take. And on top of that, we've got insurance companies telling us that we cannot charge for this kind of procedures and refuse to pay our fees after after giving anesthesia for the procedure. And we take all these risks, giving an anesthesia for an MRI and it's really not worth the effort and time. So I hope things can change when people realize, maybe through this video, how risky and how difficult it is to give anesthesia in an MRI. Cheers.